Hello, I'm Piers Corbyn from weatheraction.com, long range weather and climate forecasters, and today is February the 25th, 2011. And I'm gonna give you the latest rundown on the state of climate wars. Okay, now to all reasonable minds, the carbon dioxide theory of climate change has failed absolutely. However, it hasn't gone away yet because there are such big interests like carbon trading and taxation backing it. Their theory has failed in all its predictions. It's found to rely on fraudulent data and claims and it is based on fundamentally flawed claims in science. It's now beginning to dawn on a lot of people that this nonsense cannot continue. And it may be that this year we are seeing the beginning of the end of this nonsense. But it's not going to disappear without a lot of people fighting for the truth. Remember, the climate changers who are now really desperate in a corner, told us that this last decade would see the end of snow in Britain and much warmer winters in America. And we've seen the opposite. They told us that uh, we'd expect droughts everywhere and we've had floods. And they come up with all explanations. Warm means cold, cold means warm. Um, droughts could cause floods or floods go out. It's nonsense. Complete nonsense. And the most recent thing they've come up with is part of a concerted campaign to mislead the public is uh, they published a document in Britain um, explaining the floods that happened in September 2000 were somehow made worse by carbon dioxide. Now, this is 10 years ago and they come up with this explanation now. The global warming camp are now absolutely desperate to defend their corner and they are organising all sorts of false claims to mislead the public. The most recent uh, in Britain is that they claim that the floods that happened in September 2000 were somehow exacerbated by carbon dioxide. Now, it is total nonsense. You might just as well say the floods in September 2000 were caused by the Millennium Bug which of course would have bred for nine months. Uh, and who knows what it would do. If you look at their so-called scientific paper, which I would say is a disgrace to the name of science, uh, it, it's, well, it's full of maybes and speculation, which pass uh, to them as science. But a quick glance, if this was true, since carbon dioxide has been increasing everywhere for the last 10 years, then we would have worldwide increases of floods and extreme events. Now, there have been more floods in Britain, for example, and very extreme events recently, which we predicted using solar activity. But in general terms, for the last 10 years, there has been no increase on average of extreme events or floods. So the theory doesn't work. And of course, interesting, they produced this so-called analysis 10 years after the event and didn't use it to predict anything because it can predict nothing. Now, quite apart from, you know, the nonsense of their theory, if a theory can predict nothing, it has of no value to the human race whatsoever. What we need is accountability, not just of governments and regimes. We need accountability in all spheres of human activity. We need accountability in governments, in regimes, in policies, and in science and the media. 
So I hope in the coming year um, you will join in to whatever you can to bring truth into this dire situation. Um, there's one specific thing I'd like to advertise, which is there's going to be a one-day conference on the 19th of March in Cambridgeshire, and uh, details will be put on the screen. And, uh, and Weather Action and in the Climate Sense Organisation will be advertising more events uh, around the world where we can. And please join into these and join us in the fight for accountability in science and politics. Thank you.